You know, one of the great things that you just talked about is NLP, neuro linguistic programming. Um, tell our viewers what that is and how you work with that. So NLP is, we all have roadmaps in our brains. So if you think about when you go to work every day, you get in your car, you go to the same job, the same road, day in and day out, and you don't really pay attention. The first few times you pay attention to where you're going, what's going on, but after that you know the way. So you subconsciously start driving to work. And over time you don't notice at first when the road gets a little rough, and there's little potholes, but when the potholes get big, you definitely start noticing. And that's when, you know, construction crews come in and, and start re reworking the roads. It's the same thing with neuro-linguistics programming. It's, uh, we have these roadmaps get, that get us from point A to point B. Well, at some point, we stop thinking about getting from point A to point B, and we just start doing it subconsciously. And it works for a while, but when it no longer works, uh, neuro-linguistics programming helps you build new roadmaps and detours around those areas that don't work so the person's able to live their life more fully and move away, start consciously thinking about what they're doing and move away from what they don't want into what they do want. That's really important. You know, it's true, sometimes you drive over a bridge or something and then your exit's coming up and you're like, I don't remember going over the bridge. Exactly. Isn't that interesting how that works? How come I didn't crash? How come, you know, somebody wanted to cut me off? Did I not realize it? It's the power of the subconscious, right? Exactly. So in some of my, my videos and my daily, with my courses, people will receive like daily emails with inspirational speaking or, or a little audio video and for a couple of months and um, that's one thing that I, t I tell them that they need to do they need to look in the mirror and look at their posture look at their smile and really start looking at how they're carrying themselves because you know when we're walking around and we're just kind of like down in the dumps and our posture shows it then that's kind of how the day can will continue but when we walk around with a smile and we're standing up straight, we're telling people hi, that's automatically bringing good vibes off to that person and off of you to them. So your world will start turning around just by standing up straight, smiling and telling people hi and, and listening when they speak and not being an autopilot anymore, but actually paying attention to what's going on. You know, the grass will look greener outside, the sky will look bigger when you actually start paying attention. And these are things that's part of your training as a nurse too, right? You have to listen, right. you have to have a positive outlook, be hopeful, so you can pull from some of that uh, nursing training, right? Yes. Which is important. It is important. And I know like in the medical field, sometimes people can get burned out. And there was a time when I was burned out as well. But when you start really paying attention and then you realize how much good you're doing for other people and that person's in that place of need. So those few kind words and being in control of their situation for them because they are out of control and that confidence that the medical staff provides for their patients is exactly what that person needs. So in my new, my new area of the self-discovery coach, that's the confidence I want to instill in people in this other direction. It really goes a long way. The other one, I mean, you've done a lot of different things in your career. Medical case management is one of them. Tell us about yes. that. So I've done a lot of case management and I just, I like to fix things for people. And so when people are in the hospital, they don't know what to do. They don't know where they're going to go from the hospital, what they qualify for. I, I'm the person that knows that. Um, I have 10 years in insurance experience as well as a case manager at, and hospital experience. And I got my insurance license just so I'd understand Medicare even more thoroughly. So I know all the rules and regulations. So I'm able to help people move from that point A to point B easily and without hassle from their insurance. And so that's, uh, People get in the hospital, they don't feel good, and then having to deal with their insurance mm. and denials, that just is not a good combination. So I'm able to help people alleviate all that. So that's another thing I'll be bringing into my company, Just Brooke, is like the medical case management aspect for people who need it. 